What the hell was that? Hello and welcome to ROM Hack Theater. It has been a long time since I've done an episode for this series. I mean, technically, you can call this a reboot of the series, because it's been so long since I've done one. At one point, it was actually cancelled. So on this reboot episode of ROM Hack Theater, I've decided to check out a Sega Genesis game, well, it's actually a ROM hack of Sonic the Hedgehog on the Sega Genesis, called Pana Der Hedgehog. Now, I'm probably saying the name of the game wrong, because it's kind of spelled differently, but that's just the way it goes. Anyways, I want to thank a YouTuber for doing a video on this game, and actually inspired me to do this ROM hack theater. And his name is Burning Aegis, or Burning Aegis. I probably have the name wrong, and I do apologize for that, but I will have his YouTube channel in the description box below. So go check out that channel. Anyways, as you can see, you're not Sonic the Hedgehog in this game. I'm guessing that's why the name of the game is called Pana, or Pana, or whatever the hell you want to call it. And it's actually a really well done ROM hack. Most ROM hacks you see are sloppy and thrown together and they're just mainly for humor, dirty humor, vulgar humor. This one isn't. And most Sonic the Hedgehog ones are actually thrown together quite well. It's like somebody actually put time and effort into it. Don't get me wrong, I like the vulgar ROM hacks that are on the NES emulator and so on, but I like to see one that has a lot of effort put into it. So as you can see, this is like the second part of the first level, and this is actually a demo. I don't know if there is a full game out there, but this is a demo. And you only get one level, but it's kind of split up into three different parts. It doesn't go by acts like the original Sonic the Hedgehog does, it just kind of splits up, which is kind of cool. The graphics for this ROM hack are actually very well done. I like how the levels transition from a tropical island type setting to an icy snowy setting. I think that's really cool. And plus you see snowflakes fall, which you never seen in the original Sonic the Hedgehog, which would have been a nice touch to it. Now here's something that is cool and new. See that ball that I was just rolling on? And I ended up hitting spikes and now I'm losing all my coins like a jackass? Well that is supposed to help you get across the water as you're not supposed to touch it. I guess in this game it's bad to touch water and I just died like a jackass. I think that's pretty cool and it's something new that you didn't see in the original game. And it's amazing with some of these ROM hacks what people will do to change them up a bit. And I like that. It shows creativity. Man, this part here really confused me at first. I thought, damn, I'm already at the boss battle? And then it did that. Which I really like. I mean, it was kind of confusing at first, but, but hell, it changes it up a bit. Now you're probably wondering, hey Aaron, why couldn't you just do this as a regular game review? Well, the ROM Hack Theater series is going to be a little bit different than my game review series. For one, my normal game reviews are scripted. I actually write out a script for them. That's why I do them once a week. Well, the ROM Hack Theater series is going to be unscripted. There is no script written out at all. This is completely unscripted. Some of these will be unscripted reviews, and some of them will be Let's Plays. Depends on how I feel when I start working on it. In this case, it's an unscripted review. I guess I want to change things up a bit and do some unscripted reviews as well. I guess it's a little bit of practice when I start doing more Let's Plays. The music and sound effects for Pana Der Hedgehog is pretty damn good, and I really enjoy it. I think it is very well composed, although it does sound like music from another Sonic the Hedgehog game. I could be wrong, though. But I have no complaints at all about it, and the sound effects are pretty much the same as you hear in any of the Sonic the Hedgehog games, so I can't complain about that either. The controls are just like any other Sonic the Hedgehog game. If you can master the controls in the first game, you're going to be just fine. Now when you're rolling on that ball, moving forward will move you backwards, and moving backwards will move you forwards. You might be a little confused at first, but once you get the hang of it, you'll be just fine. If I had to rate Pana Der Hedgehog, I would give the ROM hack an 8.5 out of 10. A very well done Sonic the Hedgehog ROM hack. It has a lot of color, the graphics are nice, it changes it up a little bit, it adds some new features, and I really like that in a game. The only thing is, this is a demo, and I normally don't review demos, but I decided to let this one slip because I don't think there's a full version of this game out there. I was thinking about just doing a Let's Play on this ROM hack, but I decided for a reboot of the ROM Hack Theater series, why not just do a little review? A small mini review. And hopefully the creators of this ROM Hack will actually release a full version of this game, if there is one out there. I personally don't know if there's a full version of it out there, but it would be pretty cool to have. If you want to check this ROM Hack out, just do a Google search for it. There is a Sonic the Hedgehog fan page that has a lot of the ROM Hacks, so you can find a bunch of them there, including this one. Well, that's it for this reboot episode of ROM Hack Theater. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun making it. 
And hopefully this time I can keep this series alive and going. I don't know if I'll do them weekly or monthly. It just might be a spur of the moment thing. Anyways, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the subscriptions. You guys are awesome.